Alejandro G. Inratu. Thank you. Oh, and I'm sorry, the winner. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with 65 in the back and then come down front to 279. Hi, Leo. Hi, Alejandro, here in the back. Hey, so I have two questions since you are there. First, to Alejandro, in our last interview, I asked you what would it mean to win twice in a row? And you say, we have to see. So what it means. And to, the, to Leo, I remember, if you remember, I gave you the Oscar, the chocolate Oscar. Yeah, yeah. Did you get a bite before that? Before the real one? I, I didn't, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, that's it, that's it. I just want you to get the taste before you get it. Thank you. <laughs> so Alejandro, what it really means to win twice in a row? Well, I, I, I couldn't be more happy. You know, every film is like a, it's like a, it's like a son. So you, you cannot want, like more one son than the other. I love this film as I love Birdman. And, and I think this experience and sharing this with Leo and with all the nominees, uh, part of the crew that we are celebrating tonight. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I think the award that I'm getting is, is, is on behalf of all of them and they made possible. So I couldn't be more happy, especially because we are celebrating tonight and that's fantastic, you know. And could we say that it's a little bit for Mexico and Argentina too, since you shoot the movie in Argentina? Uh, sorry, what you said? Could we say that? that the movie is also for Mexico and for Argentina since it's your country and you did the movie also in Argentina? Well, all the crews were amazing and obviously the people in Argentina were fantastic. We have a great time there. We're coming down here to 279, then we'll go to the back to 113. Hi, Lopakazo Sandoval, down here. I don't see you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, Lopakazo Margarita Sandoval, Lopakazo is a native name. So we have a native person here. Um, what do you guys love about being storytellers? What, what? What do you love about being a storyteller? Go, Leo, first. Uh, look, I, look I, I, I grew up in East Los Angeles. I was very close to the Hollywood studio system, but I felt detached from it my whole life. And to have had parents that have allowed me to be a part of this industry, to take me on auditions every day after school and to, and to tell stories like this is, has been my dream ever since I was, uh, I was four years old. And uh, this film to me was uh, exemplary in the sense that I got to work with a director and all the things we spoke, off, uh, spoke about off camera during the making of this movie transferred their way on screen. Uh, this was true storytelling. We, we, we really got to have a, a collaborative experience together. And this was a journey that I'll, that I'll never forget with Alejandro. It, was, it took up uh, you know, such a large portion of our lives. But as a result, we have a, a, a great film to look back on for, for, for years to come. Yeah, for me, it's just basically, I think that life is so um, uncontrollable. I think we are all the time, you know, it's impermanent, everything. And I think the storytelling is a way for us to feel, in a way, can confront a, a huge amount of emotions and possibilities and feel, you know, you know, beautiful and horrible emotions, but always in a way being in a comfortable zone, knowing that it's another story that can teach us a lot. So it's a way to to control life, you know, to, to have an oxygen capsule of life without suffering for real that can teach us for when the time comes for being in love or to be have a problem, we can suddenly get what is that idea. So the storytelling is, I think, oxygen for life that protects us, you know, that, that's how I feel. We're going back to 113, then up here to 255. Hi there, I'm all the way in the back. First of all, congratulations, well-deserved. Thank you. Um, so I would like to know, where are you gonna put that Oscar? Um, yeah, <laughs> very easy question. And for you, that you gotta, second you gotta, Oscar? He's gotta ask, where is he gonna put his second Oscar? Yeah, That's exactly, right? right? Is it gonna I mean, be next to the room, first? <laughs> and I will be <laughs> all day. <laughs> no, it's, it's incredible that two outsiders like, uh, like, like Chivo and Alejandro that came from Mexico, came to our industry, were firm in their beliefs artistically, and here we have a two-time winner at the Academy Awards and with Chivo, a three-time winner. I'm so proud to be working with these guys. These guys represent everything about what this industry is and what it should be. I'm, I'm, 
I just want to congratulate you guys. It's awesome. Thank you. Tom. Thank you, Louis. Thank you. Coming down here to 255, and then we'll go over to 206. Alejandro, aquí Carlos Pérez de TV Azteca, de este lado. De este lado, por acá, izquierdo. Ah, ya. Yeah. Sí, México está muy orgulloso de ti. He estado checando las redes sociales. Está volcado. Eh, me gustaría, la orquesta al final te estuvo persiguiendo un poco en tu discurso, pero me gustaría que, que profundizaras o que te extendieras ahora sí con todo con toda comodidad sobre este tema de, de igualdad y que lo más importante es la calidad de tu trabajo y no cómo te ves. Well, I think the question is that he wants me to extend in, in what I said in the, in the stage where I was being uh, <laughs> interrupted by music. But anyway, I, 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 I want to say what I want to say, uh, which is something that is uh, absurd. I, I think that Uh, the debate is not only about black and white people. I think the diversity really includes, uh, 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 you know, what that means that now is Oscar so brown or what? I mean, I think we are yellow and Native Americans and Latin Americans. So the, the complexity of the society of the world is much more than, than one or the other. I, I think is again, I think it's becoming a little bit very um, uh, 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 polarized, very politicized without observing the complexity and, and the beautiful of, of the how being this country so mixed, as my country, which is mixed, but this is a multi-mixed country, that is the real power of it. So anyway, what I super impressed about is that still we are dragging this tribal thinking with this, uh, the, the lack of, I think one of the problems that we are suffering is there is no uh, moderate platforms to talk about something deeply, very important that in a way it's deciding the destinies of people around the world, not only here, by the color of their skin, you know, so that we are still dragging those prejudices and tribal thinking at this time It seems to me absolutely uh, uh, absurd. I mean, something that we, I think, I, I in the 50s, I remember that the people that have long hair, the Beatles were considered like, oh my God, I will never, you know? And that was so stupid that now we laugh about it. Why we cannot get rid of those prejudices about the color of skin, you know? It, it's completely irrelevant. Anyway, that's what I want to say, you know? Uh, didn't have a lot of time, but I say it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to 206 and then 22. Uh, congratulations to both of you, uh, Leo, especially. It's finally happened. I'm here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Everyone was cheering in the room here when you won. Uh, how was the atmosphere in, in the room at the ceremony? How does it feel now that it's a reality? And what would you remember as the biggest challenge of this film? Um, I, I, I felt very honored, quite frankly. It was, it was, uh, it was, It's, this whole thing has been an amazing experience and, you know, for me to be able to sit there and, and not only talk about the film, but to talk about something that I've been duly as obsessed with besides cinema and that's, you know, our environment and climate change, to be able to speak about that in a platform of, I don't know, hundreds of millions of people that are watching this, to me this, like I said, this is the most existential crises are. Our, our, our civilization has ever known, and I, and I wanted to speak out about that tonight because simultaneously while doing this brilliant film that Alejandro directed, I've been doing a, film, a documentary about climate change, which has brought me to, uh, to, to Greenland, to China, to India, to speak with the world's leading experts on this issue, and the time is now. It's imperative that we act, and I, I really wanted uh, tonight, uh, I, I'm... I feel so overwhelmed with, uh, you know, with gratitude for what happened tonight. But uh, I, I feel there is a ticking clock out there. There is a sense of urgency that we all must do something proactive about this issue. And certainly with this upcoming election, the truth is this. If you do not believe in uh, climate change, you do not believe in modern science or empirical truths, and you will be on the wrong side of history And we need to all join together and vote for leaders who care about the future of this civilization and the world as we know it. We're going to 22 and then 72. Hi, guys. Over here. Hi. David on the Comcast Xfinity. Leo, congratulations. Uh, it's been such a long time coming. And it seems like the whole world is rooting for you. The internet, fans, press, 
there was a whitehouse.gov uh, petition to get you an Oscar at one point. Um, are you uh, conscious of how many people are supporting you? Uh, how does it feel that people care so much that you get this Oscar? And for Alejandro, how does it feel to be the director who finally did this really? <laughs> It, it all feels incredibly surreal. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's surreal because you, you can't reach out and, and, and physically meet everybody. You, you, you hear it on the internet, you hear it from other people. And, and, and you know, the truth is, it's, um, you know, we always strive, you know, for the best in what we do. But this year in particular, I've been overwhelmed with, um, you know, such support. Really, truly, by, by by so many fans and so many people in the industry, it's quite shocking, actually. And uh, what can you say? Except I, I'm I'm very grateful. I really am. And I, I want to say that it's funny because the conception of how a film is being made, I think, is wrong. This is an intervening collaboration. You know, everything is connected. So when Chivo won, we all won. Also because what Chivo photographed was. The wardrobe, was the makeup, was the performance of Leo, was the ideas of the, you know. When I won, everybody won. So, I mean, all the actors, everything, when Leo, so I didn't give nothing to Leo. Leo won by himself, I Leo, but we are absolutely interdependent. We depend on the others. So every award of every film, honestly, it's funny enough as everything in life is interconnected and, 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 and it reflects the effort of hundreds of people. So that's what is amazing about today, that the awards that we won, it's celebrated by all the team, no matter if somebody won or not. And truly, that, that's very true. When you work for months with a team like that, you know that we were basically part of the success of any territory. We were all involved in anything, you know? We're going to 72, and I just want to say, hold on a sec. Um, unfortunately, we do have to wrap it after this question. Hey, hi. I am a first Egyptian journalist covering the Oscar from here. I'm bad about uh, a first Oscar for you. I'm sorry, what was your question? But uh, what about the first Oscar for you? What about it? For your Oscar. Yeah, it, it feels amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It's a first. What about yeah. that? Uh, uh, yeah, it is the first. <laughs> Look, I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm just in, incredibly grateful. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, and congratulations. Thank you.